Hello, and welcome to the In the Word podcast. This is the podcast that will help you to understand God's Word, build a stronger relationship with God, and develop habits that will help you love God and others better. And now, here's your host, Trevor Poe. Hey, what is going on, family? Welcome back to the podcast once again. Just want to say thank you guys, all of you guys, for tuning in to the In the Word podcast. It has truly been a great journey and a blessing to travel this road with you guys in this podcasting, uh, shall I say, in, in this podcasting arena. Um, I don't even know how long ago it was that I decided to start the podcast but it has truly been a blessing to me. And many of you have reached out to me and said it has been a blessing to you. So I just want to thank you uh, just for just being a part of the journey and just for listening in. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we hit our hundredth uh, podcast episode. So thank God for that. I am truly encouraged on that. And not just because of the number of podcasts, but also just because of the consistency, because um. For those of you that uh, have been with the channel for a while, have followed the podcast for a while, have followed me on social media or on YouTube for a while, you have heard me talk about in the past where I struggle with being inconsistent, especially with dealing with my YouTube channel and things that I wanted to do online. So that in itself for me is an encouragement uh, to you know, make it to a hundred episodes, you know, now, uh, technically 102 episodes because we didn't really count the first pilot episode, which obviously, you know, um, is a part of it, but, you know, just to be here right now and being, being at this point has just truly been an encouragement to me as well. But speaking of, you know, being at this point of being where we are in the season, uh, we know that, At this particular time, we're about eight or nine days away from the new year. And we know around this time and for some people a little earlier um, than where we are now, what do we start to do? We start to make those new year resolutions or those new year goals. And, you know, I've talked about, you know, this particular topic in the past because it's a big thing, right? You know, everybody wants to go into a new season or a new year. you know, with change on the brain and 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 with, you know, uh, change uh, being a thing that not only just being talked about, but wanting to be intentional about, right? So we start to write down these goals and different things that we would like to do. And, you know, in times past, I've talked about, you know, and sometimes instead of waiting until the end of the year, you don't always have to wait until the end of the year, right? There's a such thing as that's called a right now resolution, even now, right? We don't have to wait until the ball drops, uh, you know, um, for us to start this new journey. We can start it right now. It doesn't matter what time um, of the year it is, what season you're in, you can start that journey right now. And just speaking of journeys, you know, I'm, I'm on that train too, where, you know, I look forward to going to the new, into the new year, doing some new things. And one thing that I've been struggling with throughout the year, you know, kind of starting, um, and then stopping is the weight loss thing. You know, uh, at one point I was at 300 pounds, you know, thank God I haven't went back up to that, but I'm still, uh, way higher, um, you know, in weight than I should be. I, I I might be like around 260, which for me is still like 60 pounds overweight. So just imagine me being at, you know, 300. It was just, you know, it was just insane. So, you know, I'm thankful that I've been able to still keep those 40 pounds off that I lost, but I really need to to get down at least another 40 if I don't do the whole 60. Um, you know, 220, 215 would be perfect for me. So uh, like a week or so ago, I started back on that journey of, you know, just trying to get a little exercise in, trying to be active, get, you know, get some intermittent fasting in, uh, things of that nature. So, you know, I've already started my journey, even though it is something that I'm looking to as being a goal for the new year. And that's like many of us, right? You know, we got these different goals. We got these, um, you know, these, these weight loss goals. We got these financial goals. 
um, family goals, career goals, business goals, whatever it is that, um, you know, you have on your list to make you better um, going into this new year. And guess what? You know, sometimes it's hard, right? I mean, sometimes there's some goals that we start for the new year um, and we're able to complete them, right? But sometimes, unfortunately, there are some goals that we start, you know, we do good for a couple of months. And then before you know it, you know, we're kind of back doing the same thing. So I'm definitely praying with you guys that whatever it is that you have on your list, according to the will of God, you know, and what I mean by that is, you know, that is something positive, that it's not a goal of revenge or doing something, you know, negative, which I, which I don't think you guys are like that, right? That's those other people across town. But, um, but yeah, you know, whatever goals that you guys have, just praying that, you know, you're able to be intentional and disciplined as well as myself to, uh, uh, complete and accomplish those goals. But something that I try to remind, you know, everyone at the beginning of the year, everyone that's on this goal setting journey, this new res- New Year's resolution journey, is that there is a resolution that's above all resolutions, um, especially for those of us that are saved. That should be, I should say, it, you know, it should be above all resolutions, especially if it's something that we are not already doing. And I just wanted to share a passage of scripture with you and, you know, and, and I'm going to be out of here, but I wanted to encourage you in the midst of all of that you have written down, all that you are looking forward to do. I just don't want you to forget this particular uh, goal, right? If it is a goal or this particular, um, you know, thing that is of importance. And and let's read it, John chapter eight, and we're going to start in verse 30. um, And it reads as follows, as he spake these words, and it's talking about Jesus, it says many believed on him. So as Jesus is sitting here talking uh, to the people, it says that as he's talking and they're listening, many believed on him. Verse 31 says, John eight and 31 says, then said Jesus to those Jews, which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Let me read that again. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. Now, mind you, these are the people that that they they believed on him, right? They believed, you know, what he was saying. They believed in him because of the words that he was speaking unto them. But Jesus says something to them, those that believed on him. He says, if ye continue in my word, and this is him talking to us today, then are ye my disciples indeed. And that's one of the things that I try to remind people as much as as possible, you know, anytime that they're getting on a goal setting journey or getting ready to get on this path, I'm like, whatever you do, as you accomplish these goals, don't forget the most important goal. And that is to continue in the word of God, right? To remain in the Lord, to abide in the Lord, not to forget to stay in his word and, and stay praying and, and fasting when we get the chance, you know, all of the things that's going to help us to build a better relationship, a stronger relationship with the Lord, especially in the times that we're living in. We need to, you know, get stronger in our relationship with them like never before. So I just wanted to encourage you guys, there is a resolution that should be above all other resolutions if you are not doing this already, you know, or if you need to get better in this area of spending time with the Lord, of focusing on the things of the Lord. And I think probably everybody listening will say, yeah, that's something that I need to get better in. Because I think when it comes to spending time with the Lord and his word, prayer, fasting, um, I don't know if there's anybody that I ever met that feel like they need to do more of that because we know that that's where the true benefits are. But he says, if you continue in my word, He says, that is what is going to make you my disciples. Indeed, it's just not enough to hear it every now and then and go to church every now and then. No, you need to continue in the words that are in this book, that that are in that are in these pages of the Bible, these scriptures. You need to continue and stand on these words. These are my words. Amen. But verse 32 says that when you do that and he says, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. 
Verse 33 says, they answered him, we be Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not <clears throat> in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. So he says, listen, the servant uh, abideth not in the house forever. He said, but the son does. And verse 36, and this is how we know that in verse 32, he was also talking about uh, talking about himself because he goes on to say in verse 36, if the son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free in Deed, and we know that we find liberty, you know, through the spirit and you know, and in Christ, right? Like, that's where our freedom is found. Like, how do we be made over by going back to the one who originally made us, right? And we know that Jesus, the word, made all things. So, who better to go back to? to be made over, to be fixed, to be reprogrammed, to be set back on the right course, then to go back to our Lord and Savior. Not only to go back to him if if you haven't already or haven't made him your Lord and Savior, or maybe you, you, you know, he, he used to be your Lord and Savior and you've kind of backslid, but who better to abide in and to remain with, to, to, to be able to function the way that you're supposed to function in this world. And not only that, but to do his will in his world and also to make it home. We talked about this recently um, in John chapter six, when um, everybody walked away from Jesus and he turned to the disciples and said, listen, are you guys going to go too? And remember, Peter said, listen, where are we going to go? He says, we believe and are sure that you have the words that lead to eternal life. So we know that the only way to get to eternal life, the only way to know how to travel the path that leads to eternal life is through the word of God, through his son, Jesus Christ, through the word himself. So I just wanted to encourage you guys, as you are writing your list, if you haven't written it already, to to add this resolution to it, to make sure that this remains a goal, to, to make sure that this is intentional in your life to stay in God's word. And if you already wrote your list and this is not on it, make sure you run right to it immediately. Pull it up in your phone, wherever you have it. And, you know, remind yourself, I need to be intentional and in staying in God's word and building my relationship with him. Because as we see as years, you know, um, as each year goes by, it seems like every year there's something you know, uh, unexpected that happens that challenges our faith. And the only way that we're going to be able to remain with Christ and stand strong in Christ is if we already have that fellowship with him. But listen, I told you guys I wasn't going to keep you long on this podcast, but I just wanted to come and encourage you in your goals and everything that you've written down. I want to see you accomplish those, but don't forget about the resolution that should be above all re resolutions, and that is abiding in Christ, staying in his word, fasting, praying, whatever it takes. Amen to continue to be strong in him. But know that I love you guys. And until the next time we hop on the podcast together, Shalom.